Good afternoon YouTube, Kyle Ward here, one of the sales managers at Handy Toyota to show you the all new 2014 Trail Team's Ultimate Edition FJ Cruiser. So just like on all the other Trail Teams, you will get the color keyed roof and side specific for the Trail Team's Ultimate Edition FJ Cruiser is the Heritage Blue Color. As you can see on the front and rear tires, you do get the upgraded TRD brush alloy wheel, which is a beadlock style rim, not a true beadlock as you see here. It's gonna be wrapped with the BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tire. So you're gonna get a good all-terrain tire. As you can see with the shocks, it's gonna be a TRD ultimate Bilstein shock absorber. So it is an upgraded shock with an overflow reservoir as you can see on the back, and there is some on the front. On the Trail Team's Ultimate Edition FJ Cruiser, as you can see with the upgraded TRD Ultimate Edition Bilstein shock, there is a lot of travel and flex in the suspension. Specifically on this truck here, you are going to have the rock rails, so this one's all set and ready to go off-road with you. On this FJ Cruiser being the Trail Team's Ultimate Edition FJ, it is a limited production vehicle and the interior is basically exactly the same layout as you'll get in a regular FJ. Some of the badging that you're going to notice it's a limited production, as I mentioned, this one is one of 2,500. With the Ultimate Edition Trail Teams FJ Cruiser, uh, like I said, the interior layout is pretty much exactly the same. You do get your multi-information display up top here, which gives you the floating ball as well as tiltometer and whatnot listed here. Heating and air conditioning, everything else is exactly the same. You do get the 400 watt, 120 volt AC power charger for any of your regular electronics that you want to plug in in a regular outlet. You will get the backup camera with this, as well as you do get your A-Track rear diff lock and um, a multi-terrain crawl select mode, so where you can manually adjust the speed that you want the vehicle to go. It is going to engine brake and everything for you accordingly, keeping you going that speed, which I will demonstrate here in a moment for you. So in order to operate your multi-terrain crawl select, what you're going to do is first adjust the speed that you're looking for. Obviously, if you're on something slippery, you're going to want it at a low speed. If you're just driving through some mud or something like that, you obviously could keep it on a higher speed. This speed is, is adjustable while you are actually in drive moving the vehicle. First step in order to operate this, you'll need to take your vehicle, place it in neutral. You'll take your four, pull it back to four high into neutral and then into four low. From there, you'll then take your shifter and go down into low gear. Then you will push your on off button. You will see some different indicator lights when you do shift down into four wheel low. It does shut your vehicle stability control, which is a car with two squiggly lines, as well as your traction control. The reason you see that flashing saying it's slipping is just to let you know that the uh, multi terrain crawl select is on, as well as the car with a little green. As you're going to see here, I'm going to demonstrate the multi terrain crawl select mode. What I have this in is in, the, in between the low and medium speed. As you can hear, the vehicle is engine braking and providing gas as it's needed in order to keep me at this current speed. I'll show you the flex on the Ultimate Edition Trail Team FJ Cruiser so that you can see the Ultimate TRD shot. So come on down to Handy Toyota right off the of exit 20 on I-89. Check out the Trail Team's Ultimate Edition FJ Cruiser.